Hi, my name is Willow and today I'm going to be doing a review on We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. So, first of all, before I get into the spoilery bits of this review, I just wanted to say that I really, really love this book. And I may be more emotional right now because of things, but it made me cry at the end with a little bit that if you read the book you'll know what I mean. And I just thought it was really beautifully written. And while it isn't a perfect five-star book for me, I really, really loved it. And I think Nina LaCour is a fantastic author. And this is the second book of hers that I've actually picked up. And I thought it was a great continuation. Continuation, I guess. That was a bit of a strange word choice. <laughs> of her books. So, yeah. It was really good. And also, this book is just gorgeous. Look at the inside of it. And it's got like her school and it continues on this side and the cover just wraps around of her bedroom and it's really great so I definitely recommend it and I gave it four 4.5 ish stars out of five and that is it for the non spoilery section of this review all right so let's get into the bulk of this review so first I quickly wanted to talk about why I took off the half or full star from this book and that's because the sort of teenage, over-melodramatic stuff that Marin sort of... Is it Marin Marine? I have no idea. I said it Marin through the whole book. That Marin gave off throughout the novel was too much for me, I guess. And it's weird because if I read this a couple years ago, I would have given it the exact same star rating amountage but for different reasons. If this had come out and I read it a couple years ago I would have taken off the half to full star because of the way she sort of dealt with grief and I think that's because I was a bit more immature a couple years ago I guess. But also I would have thought that she was being a bit too dramatic in the way she was dealing with it and I would have thought that her jumping on a plane two weeks before school starts to New York would have been a bit ridiculous. Now, in present day, as someone who had very recently, last summer, lost someone who is quite close to me, I lost my oldest friend, I can kind of see where she's coming from with the grief. So I guess I'm glad that I recognize that I've grown as a person, which I mean, I guess that's kind of strange of me to point out. That's basically why I took off that star to half star and I guess that's also how I would have done it a couple years ago, so there you go. Anyway, weird interpretations of my past self aside, let's talk about what I absolutely loved about this book. So first of all, the writing, like I said in a little intro bit, is just lovely, and I loved how it jumped from present day to when her grandfather was still alive, and how it slowly revealed the secrets through her relationship with her grandfather and how her grandfather actually was and how her family was and her relationship with Mabel. I just really loved the way it was presented to us and Nina LaCour's writing is very beautiful and flowy and flowery and I quite enjoyed that. And I really loved seeing the stark contrast between her character in the past and her character at present. So that was really great. And another thing that I really loved that was dropped in all the time throughout the book was little literature, like, references and things like... One line that really stuck out to me was when Mabel and Marin went to the diner in New York and how they were sitting facing each other in a booth and the waitress turned the sign over so it said close facing the outside and then open facing them and how Marin stated that if this was a short story that would mean something. I thought that was really funny, but also like, wow, that's pretty great. Kind of like, it's almost self-aware in the novel, but also, I don't know, it, it just, I really loved that and it really stuck out to me because I haven't read a book before where someone was so into literature and they kind of stated all these things about it, which is great because I am going to be an English major and I love literature and all that, so. Yeah, it was really great seeing that, and it was really great seeing Marin's love of literature through the whole thing. It was just, it was just really fun. I also really loved seeing Mabel and Marin's relationship develop in the past and in the present, seeing how the scenes from the past were woven into and almost kind of foreshadowing things that were going to happen in the future. It was really interesting to see that, and 
to see them come together as a couple and then not have it really explicitly shown to us but very implicitly implied of course and sort of understanding how they drifted apart and how Marin leaving San Francisco just like that really affected their relationship. I don't know, I just really loved their relationship in it. It was really nice to read a book with a female LGBT plus main character as well as a secondary character obviously as part of that community as well. And I really love that because the only other book that I've read with a female LGBT plus main character is the only other Nina LaCour book that I've ever read. So clearly that says something about queer females that are written in young adult, but whatever, that is a completely different topic. Seeing Marin go through her own personal grieving process and her own stages of grief about her grandfather was really interesting because I haven't read another young adult book where grief plays a huge part in it, but it isn't the traditional grief that we usually associate with the death of a loved one. So I really enjoyed reading about that, even though it was heartbreaking. And also I really liked how mental illness was shown in these books and it wasn't stigmatized or anything. It wasn't treated as something that was super weird or whatever. It was just kind of like, this is happening to this character and it's unfortunate and you could see how it affects these characters and whatnot. I just really thought it was an interesting portrayal and I did quite enjoy that. And I wanted to just briefly discuss the bit that made me cry at the end. And it wasn't like a full on cry. I had like two tears come down my face, but still it made me cry. And it was when Anna asked Marin if she could be her mother. I, oh, it, it really like tugged at my heartstrings. I was like, oh my God. Because Marin hasn't had anybody except for her grandfather and now that he's passed away, she has no one and she's always had Mabel's family as sort of like her own secondary family almost and to see her officially sort of become a part of their family was really nice and... I really loved Anna's character throughout the book because she was very, very much a motherly figure to Marin who hadn't really had that through most of her life. So yeah, I just, I really loved that. So I could go on and on with hundreds of reasons of why I love this book and it would take me forever to talk about all of them, but those are the ones that I really wanted to talk about today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this please leave me some comments down below if you've read this book so we can start a little discussion in the comments because I'd love to talk to more people who've read this book. I know it was a pretty recent release so I don't expect a lot of people to have read it but I definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't. Hopefully you haven't gotten this far into the video and just completely watched me spoil everything before reading this book but it's so short I finished it in one sitting and I just really loved it. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. You can check out some more of my videos over there. You can subscribe over there. I'm using this new annotation system, which has been around for a while, but I just haven't tried it out and I'm really liking it. I think it's quite cool. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye. Well, that wasn't really how I usually end my videos, but whatever. <laughs>